Hi guys, welcome to our cardio tennis session. So I hope you're ready to get active. We're going to be burning loads of calories, going to be working really hard, getting hot and sweaty, having lots of fun. Um, the session, you're going to need a tennis racket, you're going to need a tennis ball, you're going to need a little bit of space. Um, you can do it outside if you want, but I'm doing it inside to show you can be done in a small space. Um, the session is free, which is great. However, we have set up a Just Giving page and we're raising money for the NHS. So if you want to donate after doing this workout, then please check out the link that's attached to this channel. Okay, so we're gonna do a bit of a warm up to start with. Okay, so on the spot, just nice and gentle, just jogging. Now, every session or every activity we do in the session can be done at different levels of intensity. And that's one of the beauties of cardio tennis. So for each exercise, I'll show you how you can make it a bit tougher or make it a bit easier. Okay, so jogging on the spot, we're going to do a bit of a warm up and we're going to do some stretches. And this session is based around volume. So the main content of the session, we're going to be doing loads of volume. So jogging on the spot, now we're going to do some split steps. So we're going to go one, two, one, two. One, two. Now, if you want it a bit easier, you can spend a bit more time in between each one. Okay, if you want it a bit tougher, you can go a bit lower. So, get your knees a bit more bent, get your body down a bit more. Good. Try and keep your chest up as you go. Two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Good. Right. Jogging again. So, this is just to get us nice and warm. So, get our heart beating, get the blood flowing. Next one we're going to do, we're going to do some high knees. So, we're going to do sets of four. So, we're going to go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And get your arms moving. One, two, three, four. Sit, trying to raise your knees up to your hips. Four. One, two, three, four. Come on, three more sets. One, two, three, four. Okay, gentle jog again. So we want to try and stay as active as we can during the session, even if that means doing it at a slightly lower intensity, okay? So we're trying to burn as many calories as we can. Now this session is going to last about half an hour, okay? Hopefully we'll all make it to the end, including me. <laughs> so, next exercise. We're going to need some jumps up and down. So. We're going to go touch, up, touch, up, touch, up, touch, up. Okay, see so if you can keep your chest up and you touch the ground. Yeah, so there. Good. Again, if you need to make it a bit easier, you just have a bit more time in between each one. Okay, give yourself some time, and then up. Okay, again, you don't even need to have the jump if you want to make it easier still. Okay, last few. Three more. Well done. Right. Next exercise, you're going to need a racket. So, a racket on the floor. We're going to circle around the racket. We're going to keep facing forwards as we do it. So, off you go. So, keep facing forwards. Try and stay low, so keep your feet wide, your knees bent. Okay, now change direction. Good. 
do it. Now most of the exercises in this session you're going to be able to do on your own. Some of them you're going to be able to do in pairs as well. So change direction. Again, just keep moving. Even if you need to do it a little bit smaller, a little bit slower. Okay, change again. Five seconds, change again. All right, well done. Okay, two more exercises, then we're gonna do some stretches. So, still with the racket on the floor, you're gonna go forwards and backwards. See if you can do it without looking at your racket. So keep your eyes up. And again, if you want it to be a bit tougher, you can do it a bit faster, a bit lower. You. Keep going, we're doing well guys. Okay. Woo. Right, back it away. One more exercise. This time hip twists. So you're gonna have your feet bouncing in a good athletic ready position, and now we're gonna twist to the side, and again, now the other way, and again, back, and again. Good. Keep it going. Two more on each side. All right, well done. Now we're going to get some stretches going. So, first one, lunges. So we're going to go forwards and back. Now on the other leg. We're trying to keep good balance, good posture. Trying to keep your chest up as you go down. See if you can keep your knee nice and still. One more on each leg. Right, now we're gonna go sideways. So out to the side, back up, now the other way. Again, try and keep your chest up as you go down. See if you can feel your weight go through the middle of your feet. Okay, so you want to have your feet flat on this one. Last one. Okay, backwards. So step back and down. Back, down. Woo. This is tough. Okay. Next one, body twists. So, feet apart, keep your feet flat. Just turning, this is a good warm up for your back. So getting your chest facing the side both ways. And now we can do a bit more of a turn up onto your toes. All right, one more stretch. So, open the gates, this one. This is really good for your hips. Okay, getting more range of movement in your hips. So you wanna get your knee up high, try and get it above your hips, and then turn it out to the side. So up and out, up and out. And again, keep your balance. See how still you can keep your head as you do it. So as well as warming up and stretching, we're also practicing some really good body control skills. Obviously, the more control we have over our body, the easier it is to play difficult sports like tennis. Last one on each leg. Okay. 
All right, well done. So that's the warm-up done. Now on to the next part. Okay, so we're going to start our volleys then. So we're going to need a racket. Now if you're inside, you can do all of these exercises without a racket. We're going to do lots of shadowing, so where we're pretending to hit the ball. Um, if you're outside or you've got more space, then you can use a racket or maybe even a table tennis bat. Um, if you're worried about hitting things, you could even grip it a bit higher up to make the racket a bit shorter. So first exercise, forehand and backhand volleys with some movement. So we're going to go in for your forehand and out, and then in for your backhand and out. So we're moving, and we're volleying, and off you go. So, keep our racket out in front, just playing some little punch volleys. And if you want this to be tougher, move with your hips lower down. So feet apart, chest up. That's it. So you're forwards, back. This is really good practice for your volleys anyway. You always want to move forwards to play your volley. That's it, keep going. Last few. This time, similar, but we're going to add a little bit of balance at the end of each volley. So you've got to go in, balance on one leg. In, balance. So there's a little bit of a freeze at the end of each volley. Again, really good practice for controlling the racket, controlling the ball. But this is a really good workout for your legs, holding that position. In and out. And again, you can do this at a lower intensity, so you can do it slower. Yeah, you'll still hold your balance. You choose the intensity you do it at. Come on, last two. Here we go. Well done. So, next one, we're going to do some volleys low and high. So, we're going to change the height. Okay, and again, if you're worried about hitting the ceiling, make your racket shorter. Or you can even do it without your racket. So, I'm going to go low forehand volley, high backhand. Low forehand, high backhand. Off you go. So, we're going up to the high one. Getting our hips down low on the low one. Okay, now it's a low backhand. Low backhand, high forehand. Low backhand, high forehand. Hopefully you can feel your body working. I definitely can. Okay, change again. So low forehand, high backhand. Low forehand, high backhand. Show you the palm of your hand, or the back of your hand, to where you want the ball to go. Two more on this side. All right, now, low backhand, high forehand. Low, high, low, high. Four more. Three, four, all right. Well done, this time, forehand volleys, two types. So we're gonna do a wide forehand volley and then a forehand volley at the body. So one out side, one that's coming more at your body. So we're moving to the first one, moving away from the second one. To the first one, away from the second one. It's a really good skill to practice moving away from the ball. We practice moving to the ball lots, but it's a really good skill to be able to move out of the way of the ball when it comes at you. Two more. 
All right. Now the other side. So, wide back end, back end at you. Wide at you. Keep working those feet. Okay, this time, two volleys. We're gonna hit a smash, and we're gonna move forward and play our drop shot, our little drop volley. Okay, so we're gonna go back, hit your smash, forwards, play the drop volley. So smash, forwards, smash, forwards, off you go. Again, if you're outside, you can Right up high, really jump up on your smash. Here you go. So down low on the little drop volley, up high on the smash. Okay, use your legs to get down low. Yeah, so bend your legs, keep your chest up on the little drop volley. Chest up, up to the smash. Keep going, guys. Last two. And again. All right. Well done. Okay. This time, with your racket, Okay, these are called butt downs. So, you're gonna play your volley, play your volley, touch the butt on the floor. Play your volley, touch. Play your volley, touch. So we're basically squatting in between each volley. Off you go. Squat, move forwards, volley, back. Again, keep your chest up when you go down. That's going to work your legs more. This is a real tough one. Come on, keep going. Three more. All right, well done. One more set. This time. Drive volleys, so basically a swing volley, okay, and then a punch volley, okay. So we're going to play drive, punch, drive, punch, and again, keep moving in between. So we want to keep our heart working, okay. You can change the sides, do it on the back end. Good on the forehand. Your opposites. Keep moving. But again, do it at your intensity, yeah? Just make sure you've got enough space. Keep going. Four more volleys. One, two, three, four. All right, well done. Very good. All right, so this next part, you're going to need a ball. So on your own, with your racket and ball, we're going to start off with squat volleys. All right, so little tap ups. So you're going to control the ball, get it under control. Okay, and then when you feel ready, you're gonna go a bit higher, drop your body down. 
So you've got to control the ball and go down. Now, you do this at your level, right? So if you need more time in between, fine. Okay. If you want it a bit tougher, then you just go for a couple touches. Again, yeah, get yourself nice and low. This is a really good coordination challenge. Sending the ball up and your body down. Last couple. You should really feel this on your thighs. One more. All right, great workout for the next that one. So, this next one, side to side volleys. So again, on your own, you're gonna control the ball up, volley to the side, up to the side, up. Okay, we're getting some movement in between. Now, if you've got a softer ball and you're doing it inside, you might wanna use the softer one. Again, if you want tougher, then just get your body lower. Get your legs working harder. Drop your hips down. If you want it easier, just give yourself a bit more time. But try and keep moving, yeah? The more we move, the more calories we burn. Okay, now we're going to go back to the squat volleys. Okay, we're not going to do as many. Three more. Two. All right, back to the side to side. cool down exercise for you. I'm playing it safe with a slightly softer ball this time. So if you're on your own, okay, you've got to bounce it up and you've got to move around in a circle, keeping it bouncing and you can change direction. Okay, if you've got a partner, then you can do it in a pair. So ready? So we're going to take it in turns to bounce, but we're going to move around. That's it. So little volleys, okay. And moving around. If you want it tougher, then you can have to change the direction in. Ready? So we're going to move. Okay, and then change. We go around the other way. Good. And you can do it like that. If you want it tougher again, this time, ready? If I call out volley, you've got to volley it back. If I call out bounce, you have to let it bounce and send it back. Ready? We're going to do this while still moving around. Ready? So. Volley, bounce, volley, volley. Oh, well done. Okay, then we can swap it over. Ready? So you're going to call it this time. Ready? Okay. Volley, bounce, yes. volley, bounce. All right, well done. Okay, so hit the pause button, have a go, and then join us for the rest of the video. Okay guys, well done. Now we're gonna do a cool down. So, we've got three stretches for you. First one, stretching out our quads. So, on one leg. This is a really good challenge for your balance. So you wanna try and keep your knees together. Okay, try and keep your posture. And you wanna be pushing your hip forwards. And then you should be able to feel it stretch down the front of your leg. Okay, so we're just gonna hold it. And we're going to swap to so other leg. Again, knees together. Push your hip forwards. All right. Okay, next one we're going to do 
this is stretching the back of our legs. So on the floor, we're gonna have one leg bent, one leg straight. I'm gonna try and keep our chest relatively upright. So we're gonna be leaning forwards. Okay, we're trying to keep this leg nice and flat. Just go as far as you can, hold it, and you should be able to feel it stretch down the back of this leg. And then squat. And with all the squats and lunges that we've been doing, these leg stretches are really important. Okay, now we've got one more stretch to do. This is a really good stretch for your back. Okay, so on your knees, you're gonna push your hips backwards. Then you're going to push your hands and fingers forwards. So you want to get your chest as low as you can. And now we're going to just rock forwards. Now you want to have your hips as low as possible and your chin up slowly. And then back again. And then forwards. All right, okay, well done guys. Hope you feel like you've worked hard and you've had fun. I definitely have. Um, please share the video, okay? Let lots of people know about it. If you've enjoyed it, please give us some feedback. Let us know what things you liked, what other things you'd like to see more of on this channel. That would really help. Um, as we said at the start, we are donating money to the NHS. So use the link that's attached to the channel, okay? And if you want to donate some money, that'd be brilliant, okay? Thanks a lot, and hope to see you soon.